reason why I went into the field of computer science is because growing up as a kid, I always knew that I, I wanted to build things that people can use. Um, I remember back in Form 1 in secondary school, um, reading through the explaining physics textbooks and building um, experiments around Newton's first laws of motion. And then when I was getting to the university, I chose physics as, as my major, minor in computer science, but I realized that physics was too limiting for me. I was doing high level quantum mechanics and uh, second quantization of you know, diatomic chains, but I didn't see how this could translate into things that people could actually touch or use in the mobile phones or um, laptops or whatever. And so um, around 2010, I made the switch to computer science and ever since then it has, not, it has, it has been the best experience of my life because now I'm able to do things that you know, people can use the apps I develop um, people are able to use the digital platforms for community development that I develop and are able to see social impact on an, a daily basis due to the, the work I'm doing. So currently I'm working with a social enterprise um, called Affinis Labs based in Falls Church in Virginia and um, one of the apps we build is a mentorship app. So the app is called Pentor and what Pentor simply does is um, it has a matching algorithm that connects mentors to mentees in different categories. So it could be um, in technology, it could be in art, it could be in farming, somebody's interested in agriculture. The matching algorithm uses different parameters and um, such as the location of the person. Um, it uses um, parameters such as the experience level of the mentors and their interest as well. And the matching algorithm, algorithm pairs the mentors and the mentees. And then the mentor can then reject a, men a mentorship request from a mentee as well as a mentee can then, at the end of the mentorship um, session, rate the mentor so that we know how well the mentor did and the mentors can as well rate the mentees. And then the unique thing about the interface is it uses a Tinder-like swipe card-based interface where you can just swipe left or swipe right to either accept or reject the mentorship. And so right now an organization has adopted that and they are in the process of implementing this, you know, rolling it out um, in that organization. We're also building an app that is going to revolutionize um, charitable giving and we are doing this in partnership with PayPal. So we'll be using PayPal as the processing um, payment back end and people will be able to choose charities based on the charities um, database, the, the charities API we're pulling from PayPal and then um, they could choose if they want to give uh, a one-time donation or recurring donation cut at the end of the month by PayPal and the money is going to be distributed to the charities. And uh, on the educational side, I founded a nonprofit called EduTeens, and what we're simply doing is we're improving student achievement, um, teacher effectiveness, and overall school quality through the implementation of technology-led initiatives. And so far, we've partnered with Google to run the African Code Week, which we'll be doing, we did in 2015, we did in 2016, and we'll be running again in 2017. And the whole idea is to get more students between the ages of 9 to 18 involved in STEM education, while also promoting female minorities in these programs. When I look at the programs and the impact we're having on be it kids or be it young people, um, it gives me an even greater desire to want to do more. And so right now I'm reading a lot about um, venture capital investment, venture philanthropy, because I want to get to the stage where I'm not doing the everyday coding by myself, but also be able to sit back and then understand what the users need, understand what our customers need, and be able to provide solutions based on the needs of the customers in a way that is going to enable them to do more, enable them to be more, and be able to invest in young startups that are looking for funding. And so right now, um, through Affinis Labs, they started what they call the um, Main Bar Fund, and it's scouting for entrepreneurs with amazing ideas in the African continent. And I'm working through that process with more experienced investors to be able to understand how to scout for ideas and look for those promising ideas and give a young person a chance to, I mean, even if the person fails in the process, but we know that there's something valuable that they learned. And so we are focusing on the teams and not necessarily um, if they are going to succeed or fail, more on building these teams. And so that's what I want to do long term. So grow from um, core software engineering to looking at and scouting for talent all over Africa. And I'm happy I came to Rwanda, for example, because um, through the Next Einstein Forum week I've had here, it's been amazing. I've met young entrepreneurs um, and the amazing things they're doing. And it has given me a broader vision for Africa and how we can be able to do, to do these things across Africa.